Okay, so I hooked up a uh, some black fabric there, and then lit um, a. Uh, that's that was just a test model because so, I couldn't sit in the chair and uh, film myself at the same time. I lit myself with a slide projector. Why a slide projector? Because it makes a hard light. You can see on the wall behind there. You see, there's a hard edge to that light, and that's very good to keep the light off the black screen, because once you've got a black screen and a hard lit uh, subject, then there's my camera. There's the uh, five one two. Now that knob at the back, I think, is for your uh, diopter. So what you've got inside here is the character, is the uh, your subject, very well lit on a completely black background. And you can have some real fun once you once you can do that. Um, okay, what I did was I cut another mask out. I love the uh, I love the actual uh, uh, the sort of the nuts and bolts and cutting out and gluing part of Super 8 and filmmaking. So I cut out that. Okay, now that is a sort of a head and shoulders shape. Then I got this uh, old Vectrex video game thing, and I masked off the graphics of the video game as a head and shoulder device. And I, I filmed uh, my daughter and uh, myself. So yeah, what you've got is that. So that creates that. So using the process that I showed you before about masking off parts of the picture, you can then put that all together and get, oh yeah, <laughs> also you can color. This, this video game has these color overlays. Oh my God, he's got a Vectrex. Oh, I should talk about those in another show. So yeah, you can tint the uh, thing. So I filmed my daughter and then head and shoulders, and then I rewound the film, as you can see here, put it on R, and it goes backwards. That meter's nice, it's a, it counts 80 frames, that's one foot of standard eight. And okay, and uh, usual apologies for the developing. So there's there we go, and that's what you got. So you got your subject, you've got your background, which is all second exposure stuff. Uh, I even persuaded her to wear a kind of a Star Wars style Helmet <laughs> didn't quite work, but yeah. So so that's the uh, I shot the Vectrex at eight frames a second to make sure I got an exposure, and that's me at I think sixteen frames a second, and that's a bit more. Some sort of music on there. Some more Vectrex graphics. There we go. Very nice. Super cool, and uh, yeah, Kodak five hundred T picks up everything. Thank you.